This story happened to me in the not too distant past. I had a mistress. And her name was Liliana. Look at that. It's not like she washed toilets at a gas station in Kentucky. But she's Liliana. In addition to cleaning, washing dishes and toilets, Liliana, at the same time, served the owner of the establishment for free, and for a small fee did not refuse in a drop of love and truckers. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Joe, just like the current president. However, as I think you've already guessed, I'm not the president. I'm a trucker. I've been a trucker all my life. And everyone who knows me calls me Joe Trucker. I'm obviously married. And it will soon be 30 years already. We got married when we were both under 18 years old, when we were three months pregnant. When we had twins, twins we were still children. I, from a poor family, my wife, too. To feed all of them I did not turn the wheel. However, I was able not only to keep my marriage, but also trained my wife to be a lawyer and gave education to two children, who have already found their own families. In general, I am not yet 50 years old, and I have already shot off. Naturally, working as a trucker, I could go weeks without being home. But I had to feed my family somehow, and I had no education and I didn't know how to do anything else. In fact, I lived on the road. And, naturally, in my youth it was not realistic for me to do without a woman's caress for so long. So I used shoulder pads on a regular basis. Who is in the subject, he will understand me and will not judge. However, all my exploits in this field were limited exclusively to one-time commercial relationships. The only romance on the side for 30 years, which could be called cheating, I had with one logistician at work, it did not end nicely and I do not want to remember it here. But when I met Liliana, there was nothing to suggest that this time would be any different. I was told that they couldn't decide where to send my shipment, so I could rest for three or four days. What's in it for me? I sleep, the payment is coming. Especially since I had just met Liliana, appreciated her deep-throating technique, and having appreciated it, chartered her for the whole time of my downtime. I will say right away that Liliana had two good traits. The first was a great character, kind, sweet and sympathetic and with an excellent sense of humor, at least that's what it seemed to me at first. And the second trait is the one that divides in half her adorable, young, heart-shaped ass. How come I took her with me from that stinking parking lot? I don't know. Most likely all of the above, plus the gusto with which she fucked, plus the fact that for her 18, she was a surprisingly good cook. As we traveled around the country together, she managed to cook things on my regular camp stove that not every Michelin would serve. Or maybe I just fell in love and I was enjoying the fact that I, a 47-year-old asshole, was traveling around the country with an 18-year-old girl who was looking at my mouth. Anyway, for three years, she became my constant traveling companion. In fact, my traveling wife. When I came home for a vacation, I'd leave her at some motel. And the visit itself, as I could shorten, explaining to my wife that there were many orders, which I could not refuse, because then I would not be offered a job, etc. It worked for a while. I have another brother. He's 10 years younger than me and he's a trucker. One day we crossed paths with him at the same parking lot. We had some time together and, naturally, we had a good time. His personal life wasn't going well. He had several broken marriages and children in his past, whose mothers were quietly pulling child support from him, but wouldn't let him see them. My Liliana made a lasting impression on him. The whole time we were together he was always staring at her, especially when he was drunk. When I laughingly told him that he would burn a hole in her so soon, he started crying about how lonely he was, that someone else had everything, that is me, I have a wife and children and grandchildren and a girl like that, and he was poor and alone, like a Bellina. 
I took him aside so that Liliana didn't hear and tried to explain to him that anyway a family is a family, and Liliana is. Liliana. Anyway, by about 3 am I got bored with his whining and went to bed, and he, finding Lil's ears free, told her something until morning. As she told me later with laughter, at dawn this weirdo proposed to her. Laughing with laughter, but something of my brother's words fell on fertile ground. Or maybe it was just a crisis after three years of relationship. I don't know. But from that time on, my Liliana began to bring up the question of what was next more and more often. I tried my best to turn the conversation to other topics. One night, after a few beers, she went on the attack. And then I learned so many new things about myself that I just freaked out. And when she told me that she should have stayed at her gas station, in three years she would have become the assistant manager there. That's when I laughed, reminded her that she was in fact a cleaner and a shoulder operator there in one person and, as I thought it was witty at the time, made a joke apologizing to her for ruining her career there. That was the first time she was seriously offended by me in the three years of our relationship. She crawled into her sleeping bag and sobbed there until the evening, and at the time when I was negotiating about camping in the parking lot she disappeared. I found her voting on the highway, dragged her to the campground, calmed her down and persuaded her not to get hot at night. In the morning she seemed cheerful, but the atmosphere in my cabin was not the same. Want to know how our story ended? Then give me a like. Someone ratted us out. I suspect it's my brother. Although sometimes I think Lil did it. Who cares? One beautiful rainy evening, as we were getting ready for bed at a roadside motel, there was a knock on the room door. The door opened and my wife walked in. It was something. You wouldn't wish that on an enemy. I ended up telling my wife I didn't want to live with her because I love Liliana. The kids are grown up, there's nothing to keep us together, so let her draw up the divorce papers. Did I spend money on her education for nothing? As for Lil. What can I say, you women, you can't figure it out. After all the issues seemed to be resolved and we were staying together, she left me. She found a job on the app as a waitress. And she left. I didn't delay, I thought it was just a maneuver. Turns out it wasn't. I had no wife and no mistress at the same time. The wife really didn't go anywhere. She's a good lawyer and realizes that divorce in the US is expensive. The kids are involved. Anyway, somehow, but we were reconciled. And I'm back in the family. I mean, like three years ago, I was home five or six days a month. What about Liliana, you ask? Don't worry, she's fine. She married my brother. Only our family wasn't invited to the wedding for some reason. That's my story. Given the experience I have gained, I do not start any more novels on the highway. And you do not advise. Subscribe. Like. Comment.